Well, boys, today it's looking like we got some snow. So that only means one thing, snow plowing. But first, I gotta get some coffee. Oh, uh, yep, we definitely got a fair bit here. Well, we'll head out to the shop here and uh, get some equipment going, get it fired up, and see what we can do for this. Because uh, we need to get this cleared ASAP. Now, luckily, the other day, I prepared a little bit since we had snow coming and ordered a few pieces of snow removal equipment. And uh, they showed up here. We got the JCB Work Max here with snow plow on the front. Haven't tried this one out yet. Yeah, so it's gonna be interesting our skid steer with a snow blade john deere six by six gator with a snow plow and salter so this should be pretty useful for some of the residential areas that we're going to be snow plowing today and i think it has heat inside as well so it should be nice and toasty in there as well we got the ram 3500 here with the dxt v plow this thing is an absolute beast got the uh snowway salt spreader kind of like that name Anyway, in some of the areas and bigger parking lots, this is going to work perfect. We'll get the door open here, and then uh, we'll get to work clearing out the yard. And then after that, we'll head out to some residential areas and see if we can get those cleaned up. But yeah, got to make a path out of the yard first. But I'm thinking we're going to use the ram first, and then we'll use a little bit of the gator for some of the smaller stuff there. All right, V-plow is lowered. Let's get to work. Now, since this is the first snow plow of the year out of this new place, we've got all new equipment, which is perfect. All this stuff is supposed to work crazy good, so we'll see how it does. Just got to get used to it first so if we push a little bit of a button here that's gonna go out like that we'll lower this back down there we go so i'm just trying to clean up in front of the shop here unfortunately i don't think we're gonna be using that pool over there anytime soon i'd say that is about done for the year so we're making pretty good progress on the yard here so far but the uh, pile of snow is getting fairly big here so we gotta take a pretty good run up at it just to uh move it but we're slowly making some progress it just takes a little while this tree line is perfect though because you can push the snow right in there and uh pretty much takes care of it all all right well after getting most of the yard here pretty much done i just got to uh do a little bit of the driveway here and then we're good to go we can get onto the other jobs so pretty much just got to send it through here got the v plow so yeah you can pretty much get through just just about anything as long as you're going fast enough seems to work pretty good may as well plow out the neighbor's driveway while we're at it a little bit all right so got our yard here pretty much good to go kind of cleaned up the driveway there a little bit it's still got a little bit of uh snow in there but we should be able to get out that's what i hope at least but we're gonna get some equipment loaded up here and head out to some of our residential areas and uh, get those cleaned up should be uh pretty good paying work we got uh more snow than I thought. That took uh, quite a bit longer to clean up. But we're pulling out all the stops today. We're bringing out everything. So hopefully we can get the work we need to done. Load our 6x6 gator up. This thing's supposed to be a beast in the snow. All right. Everything is loaded up here. We got this trailer loaded down to the nines. That should be about as much as we're going to be able to put on there ever. But it just all barely fits in there. So hopefully we can make it out of the driveway. I think we got it cleared enough though oh boy this might be a little more sketchy this isn't plowed yet plow trucks haven't been out but hopefully they will be soon but our very first house to go to our very first stop is karen's now as much as she doesn't like us we are unfortunately the only people that do snow plowing for houses like that currently so yeah she doesn't like getting out there and shoveling her driveway herself so yeah she hires us to do it every year so yeah we're gonna head out there and uh get it done you know what? To be honest, since it's Karen, she'd probably call the cops on us for uh, getting snow on her doorstep there. So, you know, we like to be a little more careful when we're trying to uh, plow her driveway there. All right. So first things first, you're going to check around, make sure there's nothing laying here. I think we're all good to go. We'll plow out a little uh, path for Karen to get her car out here, and then we'll get to work getting the rest of the driveway clean here. But for that first part here, we're going to use the skid steer, one of the best tools we have on the job. In fact, we can get most of the work done without her even having to move her car. See, now here's something we do that a lot of people don't, is we actually push the snow up right over to the fence. Now, the reason for that is because once the snow hardens and, uh, you know, gets all icy and you get more snow, you can plow it just up to the edges of the driveway, then it gets in a hard packed layer and kind of a mound. And then if you need to shovel more snow over, you kind of run out of room there pretty quick and your driveway just gets significantly smaller and smaller each time. So... If we put it right to the end of the uh, yard here, we have plenty of room to push the snow over the winter season. Now, one thing Karen also hates is mowing lawns. So that's why uh, her yard is 90% pavement, which is good for us in the winter for snow plowing, but bad for us in the summer when uh, we need to go mow some lawns. But honestly, since it's Karen, I can deal with not having her as a customer in the summer. Hold on, gotta move Karen's dang plants. She always leaves them out to last minute and then they die and she wonders why. 
well we're slowly but surely making progress here got the uh, one side of the yard done here just working on the other we'll get the side by side out here pretty quick and clean up the rest just want to get the bulk of the snow out of here with this thing makes it a bit easier but we almost got a pass cleared so uh karen can move her dang car it's always in the way i don't know why she doesn't put it in the garage maybe she's got another prius in there you know just a backup one so i asked karen to move her prius and uh surprisingly enough she gave me her keys you know maybe she's turning in a leaf maybe uh maybe she's gonna be nice now but you know i may stand corrected because she said after today she will no longer need my services uh for plowing her yard because she's getting a little upgrade to the prius she said so that's supposedly supposed to be at the end of the day here so i'm kind of curious as to what it's going to be that i will no longer have to uh move snow out of her yard here all right so after getting most of the snow kind of the bulk of it here we're gonna hop in the gator and get to work just cleaning up the rest of it and getting a little bit of salt on there just so you know karen doesn't slip and you know break a leg and then sue us that would not go down well all right now we're talking in the cab here nice and warm can get the uh, driveway cleaned oh this is perfect well, hopefully she's happy with this. All right, we'll get some salt spread it here, and that should about do it for Karen's house. And we'll just plow a little path out of here while we're at it. Why not? Hopefully the plow trucks come and do their job here at some point. And there we go. House is uh, a little bit clean here. We'll go in here with the shovel. Oh boy, I kind of tipped over Karen's plants here. She's not gonna be too happy about that. We'll just set them there. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. There we go. Come back here with a shovel, get a little bit of this done. Should be pretty easy. But uh, yeah, I think we got this about as good as it's gonna get. We'll get the skid steer loaded up here and we are out of here. Well, I guess mine is cleaning in front of Karen's garbage cans. She insisted that we do that. Hey, maybe she's putting a snowplow on the front of her Prius. Hey, wouldn't that be cool? Maybe that's why she's not going to need us anymore. All right, on to the next job here. Uh, it's going to be a parking lot, so pretty easy stuff there. I think we got to grab some uh, fuel first at Casey's. Running a bit low this time. Now well, it looks like the snowplow's got the highway plowed. That's good. All the businesses are still pretty snowed in though. Oh, is Casey's clean? Oh, Casey's is real nice in there. Look at that. They know how to get some work done. Oh, we'll get some fuel and then we'll head out to the next job there. And that is going to do it for the Wendy's parking lot here. That was pretty easy to do. Just had to uh, get around the cars there. But uh, other than that, it's pretty easy and we are done. We're going to stop by Karen's there and uh, see what she happened to do to her Prius there. I'm kind of interested to see. She made sure to tell us that we're more than welcome to stop back over there and see what she did. So, yeah, we're going to go see. This should be interesting. Well, I ended up dropping all the equipment back off at the yard there because that was our last job for today. So we're going to go see what Karen has done to this poor Prius. She put tracks on it. What the heck? Okay, I got to go take a look at this thing. I, this isn't real. There is no way she has managed to put tracks on the Prius. Oh, good grief, Karen. You have done a lot of crazy stuff, but, you know, I think this might take the cake. Yeah, I could see she probably wouldn't need me to come and plow her yard anymore. Um, you'd be able to get over just about anything with this. Okay, I've seen enough for today. We're gonna head home. I'm gonna go, uh, drink some hot chocolate and, uh, play some games. But anyway, you guys, that's gonna be the end of the episode for us today. If you did enjoy, smash that like button. Also, if you're new, consider subscribing. Hope y'all enjoyed. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Cranking up the radio, playing old Hank, it ain't that 